the Adidas Box Hog 4, are they much different from the Box Hog 3s? Hello and welcome to fit to box channel, I'm Simon, full time boxing coach and here on fit to box channel I bring you all things boxing equipment. Today is the turn of the Adidas Box Hog 4, these in sort of that blue and silver, like a navy with a silver logo and sort of grey on there as well. And these also come in black with a gold logo and also grey, they come with a blue with a white logo and red and red with a white logo and black and as you can see they are very similar in what they look like to the previous version of these boots which was the Box Hog 3 and I'll do a little bit more of a comparison of the two as we go along. So, as you bring that round there, you can see they've got the EVA midsole wedge at the back there, the same as what was on those previous boots, and you've got a breathable mesh upper. Uh, we will be uh, weighing them in a moment as well to see what the difference in the weight is, but all of this is made with, uh, the top is made with recycled materials, and they reckon that the upper is at least 50% recycled materials. Obviously, I've got no way of, of proving that. Um, you can't tell by just looking at it. The difference between the two, if you can look, if you look at that one and what they've done with that upper, and then you look at that one, obviously there is a difference, although the basic boot looks very, very similar and feels very, very similar, including the soles. Okay, so the soles, again, they've gone with a very similar sole. So, let's bring that down there. Okay, so these are recommended retail price of £89.99. Now, already shops are doing them for around £79.99. So, I'll, I'll include that in sort of the, the value for money and what I think and where these place. And I'll bring that round. I do think they're a very nice looking boot. They've got some nice colourways. Um, on the inside at the back there, they've also got some sort of reinforcements that are in the rear of the ankle. And they're a very comfortable boot as well as lightweight. So let's, let's weigh them. Um, so here we go. So they are, let's put the 10.1 ounce. And this one, 9.9. .9. So they are really, really lightweight. Uh, Nike Hyper KO 2 uh, are about 16, over 16 ounces. So that is how lightweight these are. And these, 10.9, and this one is 11. So these are slightly, about one ounce more than the new version. Okay, so let's just bring that around. On screen, I'm going to put on screen now the card for the Adidas Box Hog 2. I'm also going to put on screen the card for the Adidas Box Hog 3 as well. And then obviously I can put on screen this one as well. So the new card for the Adidas Box Hog 4, it's going to be Style 96. It's going to be Comfort 95, Durability 96. All of those scores are the same that I gave for the Box Hog 3s. Performance, I'm going to give 97 just because they have shaded off an ounce in weight for these boots. 
and then I've gone soul 93. So the soul of I've put the soul as the same score as the box hog 3 as well. Now when it comes to value for money, the recommended retail price is 89.99 and they are available at most places for 79.99. Whereby currently the box hog 3 their recommended retail price was £84.95, but you can pick them up for about £60. So you are paying probably £20 more for this boot than that boot. And that is why when it comes to value for money, I'll put this one at 97 and I'll put this one at 96 When all is said and done, this boot scores exactly the same at 95.5. That is three fit to box stars. Um, same score as these they are in fact very very similar boots okay so it is really what you like in terms of you could go for the cheaper boot here the, some great style when it comes to these boots um, as well as the new sort of design that is on the new boots you might want the the newer edition when it comes to the sole they've gone with the same sole and it's very similar sole to the original sort of box hog back in the day and the box hog too they just seem to just keep that sole for me i think they should have improved their sole if they'd have improved that sole i think they could have really justified the extra amount of money at the minute i think sorry wrong one uh i think if they'd have improved that sole that would have been better it would have been a more of a step up from this boot here to this boot here uh, the fact that I've just mixed them up just shows you how similar these boots are. So it's very much what you like, whether you like the material there or whether you like the style of these, because I think they're a fantastic looking boot, especially in that colour there, or whether you like the style of these, it, it's totally up to you. Um, in, in fact, I would say that Adidas, when they bring out eventually the Box Hog 5, I think it's now time to really start to make some some bigger changes than what they're doing i know what they're doing it's almost like a, a car like the volkswagen golf over the years there's just slight styling changes because they know that the people that were buying golfs like the golf um, so they don't want to go too radical to lose their customer base i do understand it i just think that this boot is a bit too similar to this boot to justify a 20 pounds different in price currently so one last look at them as I bring them round. Uh, when it comes to the sizing, I found them true to size. Uh, also, I mean, as I say, I haven't got wide feet. Uh, I think it was Wayne Elcock that said that he has got wider feet and that he found that these accommodated wider feet. I have had comments in the comment section before from other people who've had wide feet who said that they disagreed with that so i'm not sure i haven't got wide feet so i can't say and uh, how wide is wide feet you could have somebody who's got wide feet and you could have somebody who's got wide feet so i just wanted to show you those if you go on to fitterboxchannel.com you will see my boots list and where these boots place in my list so i hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to fit to box channel and I shall speak to you soon.